Hi there, this is Dana R. Curie, author, speaker, and wellness advocate. And today's topic is why the narcissists, flying monkeys, do the dirty work. Have you ever wondered why these people who are the flying monkeys are constantly up to no good and instigating trouble? And, you know, we kind of wonder, like, how did the narcissist even get them to do this? And so let's talk about that. Here's 10 reasons why the flying monkeys do the dirty work. Number one, typically they have a passive aggressive personality. They have these behaviors that are extremely passive aggressive. So here's a few signs of someone who has a passive aggressive personality and behaviors. Um, they cannot help themselves but to criticize people, condemn people, judge people, insult people, manipulate people, shame and blame people. So they're very, um, they're very spiteful and unhealthy people. We have to understand the flying monkeys are very, very toxic and we must always remember that. Number two, why flying monkeys do the dirty work? Their motive is to gain brownie points, not only with a narcissist, but with other flying monkeys. So there's a group of them, and typically they do what's called mobbing. They gang up on one person who might be the black sheep in the family, the scapegoat, whatever. You know, give them whatever name you want. They will mob, they will gang up because they feel so powerful. Together, they feel so powerful. Yet, we have to understand that behind their motive, you know, why? Why are they doing the dirty work? They want to gain brownie points. They want to win the approval of others, especially the narcissist. Now, we have to understand also we're dealing with a person who's a people pleaser. Typically, they're not a mover and shaker, someone who is a leader. They are a follower. They are someone who is really seeking to please others and to win the approval of others. And we'll get to the reason why in another answer. Let's move on. Number three. Now this one's extremely important and it's, it's a no brainer, but it needs to be said. Another reason why a flying monkey does the narcissist dirty work is because they're foolish people. They have a low IQ. They have no common sense. They don't think for themselves. They let the narcissist think for them. They let the narcissist dictate every move they make. And so it's really pure stupidity. So number three, the answer is stupidity. These people need to wake up. But sadly, based on their toxic personality and that they are a follower and a people pleaser, and they have a lot of issues within their own self. They have a very, very low self-esteem. We have to understand that they're easily manipulated by the narcissist. And so it's like a vicious cycle. They'll continually seek to make the narcissist happy and get these brownie points and to win the approval of all the other flying monkeys. They just want to remain in the circle to keep the vicious cycle going. Number four, why the flying monkeys do the dirty work. They want to avoid being the target. Now, while they are stupid, they've learned through past mistakes. And for some people, whether it's through marriage, whether it's through family, whether it's through their friendships, whatever way it may have worked its way into being that they became this flying monkey, they have learned the hard way. They've had some serious knocks in life. And they learn, ooh, they better do what that narcissist says and they don't want to be the target. So they want all attention off of them as far as negative attention, and they want to place the negative attention instead onto the black sheep of the family, the scapegoat, what have you. So they are, you know, at least um, in a position where they have at some point realized if I take the focus off of me, I won't be the target, I won't get abused, and so I'll have the I'll people please, and then they'll chase after the black sheep of the family and the scapegoat. So let's move on to number five. Why the flying monkeys 
do the dirty work. All right, so basically they buy into the deceit. They believe the deception that this narcissist creates. So the narcissist is very sly and creative in this major web of lies. And so here's a few other things though that are really vital to know about the flying monkeys, especially your flying monkeys. And that's, they don't check out truth versus false. They wouldn't know false versus truth if it slapped them in the face. These people, again, pure stupidity. They don't do their homework. They don't do their research. They typically are so oblivious, they just keep falling through the trap of the narcissist. All right, next is number six. Now, the narcissist has brainwashed the flying monkeys. Now remember, if this is a family origin, you know, we're talking whether it's through marriage, whether it's through birth, whatever it may be, the situation, the flying monkeys have been brainwashed by the narcissist. Now we're talking decade after decade. There's a lot of years involved here, especially as they get older and they become adults. They have gone through years and years and years and years of falling under this trap. Um, technically, they really are abused also. We must always remember the flying monkeys are abused. They're just so stupid, they haven't walked away. They've never been able to say no more. Instead, they take the crap that comes their way. They try to redirect the target to the black sheep of the family. But we must understand that they're, they're brainwashed. And um, there's a lot of division within the family. There's a lot of really unhealthy dynamics in the family. And the flying monkeys have never escaped it. And they may take all the family secrets to the grave. Next, why the flying monkeys do the dirty work of the narcissist. Number seven, the flying monkeys are cowards. Now we have to understand what we're dealing with people. We're dealing with people who have no courage. You know, think about the Wizard of Oz. Think about how the witch recruited the flying monkeys there. Think about how these people just did whatever they were told to do. They had the fear, the fear in them. You know, the, the witch from the Wizard of Oz, the mean witch, she knew how to manipulate the flying monkeys to do what she wanted them to do. But the end result is that the flying monkeys are cowards. They will never stand up to the narcissist. And they themselves, they're not leaders. They're not doers, they're not movers, they're not shakers. Typically, they just observe. So they observe other people and they observe the, the um, black sheep of the family. They oftentimes are stalking the black sheep of the family. They're mobbing, they're harassing, they're bullying, they're doing psychological abuse over the internet, which is actually by law criminal. Um, we can get into legalities on another video. That would be a, quite an interesting one I look forward to. Um, but yeah, there are definitely a lot of things that come into play with the flying monkeys who are cowards. And we have to understand they have no courage. They have no guts. And if, if they ever ran into the black sheep of the family, say they're just somewhere out and about, maybe at a restaurant, maybe a local mall, and they kind of just accidentally bump into the black sheep of the family, they wouldn't have the guts to say anything because they're number one, stupid, and number two, cowards, and number three, they know. They know they're in the wrong. They know they're guilty. And we're gonna move on to number eight, reasons why the flying monkeys do the dirty work of the narcissist. They're mentally unstable people. So at the root of this, like if we ever want to do the psychological evaluation and analysis of a flying monkey, we must always get to the root of it. You know, what is the root cause? Mentally unstable people. So we're not dealing with someone who has a sound mind. We're not dealing with someone who's a mature adult. We're not dealing with someone who has logic and common sense and a productive life. 
No, we're dealing with someone who's crazy and they love to pull the switch where they call the black sheep of the family crazy and they try to act like the black sheep of the family's insane. But understand that at the root of the problem, it's always the flying monkey and the narcissist who is mentally unstable. Anyone who has a sound mind, you know, someone who is a stable, you know, emotionally stable individual would never get involved with cyber stalking, mobbing, bullying, such as cyber bullying, cyber harassment, such as on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and anywhere else you can imagine. You know, these people, they think they're really smart. They, they do. You know, they're so stupid that they think they're smart. I mean, that's what's hysterical about it. It's just like standing back and watching the flying monkeys. It is absolutely hysterical to watch them because they don't even know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're saying. They trip up over fact versus fiction. They might take just a half truth and then they spin a web of lies. But it's hysterical to watch them because they screw up constantly and we can only look forward when they fall flat on their face. And let's see, do I have anything else I wanna say about the mental instability? Next, I could just say, you know, examine your own flying monkeys yourself. Start doing some work, really examining them, tracking what they've done to you, any kind of cyber stalking, bullying, and you'll probably come back to the root cause. Yep, they're mentally unstable. All right, let's move on to number nine, jealousy. Oh my goodness. If there's nothing else we could understand about the flying monkeys, they are the most envious, hateful people on this earth. They have so much envy for the black sheep of the family or whoever the person is who might end up being the victim of the narcissist. So remember in marriage, when it's um, a partner or boyfriend-girlfriend situation, things could be kind of different. It's not your blood relatives, it's a spouse or something as in a relationship through marriage. So keep that in mind when it comes to narcissists and flying monkeys. But the interesting fact is that the flying monkeys are extremely jealous and they are envious people. They have a lot of strife in their life and they may never even admit to themselves how much they despise other people and you know they really do despise the narcissist but they'll never admit it they'll never admit it but deep down inside they hate and loathe the narcissist because the narcissist has made them do the dirty work hey if it were you 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 know you probably hate the narcissist too but they have also a lot of self-loathing a lot of self-destructive behaviors and lifestyles and we can understand that they can trip up in their own web of lies. You know, one day they're saying one thing, the next day they're saying another thing. They don't know black from white and up from down. So again, you know, take notes, start tracking everything they're doing. Take notes because it's very educational. Sometimes it's actually entertaining. And, and then most of all, never engage, never ever engage because again, they're stupid people who are mentally unstable and we don't have the time of day to deal with those psychos. Let's move on to number 10. Are you ready? This is, again, why flying monkeys do the dirty work. They're miserable people. They're so lonely. Their lives are so boring, unstimulating, unsuccessful. They're unhappy. They are spiteful people. So they have such a self-loathing for themselves. They have a very, very low, low self-esteem. They're very insecure people, you know, and so they themselves have so many problems. They have a lot of problems. You know, they might have physical problems, mental problems, a lot of relationship problems. There's a good chance, you know, if they're married, they're very unhappily married. If they have children, they're not treating their children right. They're not a loving parent. They're not a happy person at all. So we're dealing with someone who not only is extremely insecure, spiteful, and hateful, and just a miserable 
individual, but because they're so spiteful and hateful, they want to just pour their poison everywhere. They get off on hurting others. So they have to bring you down to build themselves up. That speaks volumes. Let me repeat this. In order for them to feel good about themselves, they have to bring you down in order to puff up their own selves. So again, very insecure person, passive aggressive, very toxic. They have no boundaries. They wouldn't know boundaries if it whipped them in the face. They have reached a place in their lives where they're so lost. They have no success in their lives. They're bored out of their minds. And that's why they could spend all this time stalking you and harassing you. Because their lives are so pitiful and so disgusting that they go to great lengths to try to stimulate themselves. I mean, it's really sad when we think about it, when we really start examining the flying monkey. You know, I actually feel bad for them. I feel sad that someone would have such a disgusting, pitiful, meaningless, absolutely meaningless life. They're not using their God-given gifts. They're not using their strengths. Instead, they're letting their weaknesses just roar their ugly head to spew their poison everywhere. And it's just really unfortunate. Um, the next thing I could say is we have to understand that, and this of course isn't, I'm kind of like taking not really number 11, I'm just kind of giving my last minute feedback on why the flying monkeys will do the dirty work of the narcissist. And that's because they have no credibility. So the flying monkeys are not credible people. They have no integrity. They're not transparent people. They're not vulnerable people. They're not brave people. They have no courage to stand up for themselves. They have no courage to live the life that they were really destined to have. So they're failures, they're utter failures. And so in the end, you know, all they can do is gaslighting, denial, dysfunction, deception, smear campaigns, retaliation, and it goes on and on and on, people. And you know, if you're dealing with a narcissist and you're dealing with flying monkeys, you've already experienced this. You know for yourself how combative they are, how stubborn they are, and how very toxic they are. So we're gonna end on this happy note that you are a much braver person than them. Typically people who are the black sheep in the family, you're very creative. You're um, technically a highly, highly, oh my goodness, highly sensitive person. Sorry, I got tongue tied there. Highly sensitive person. You're very empathetic. You have a lot of compassion. You have a lot of positive traits. Typically you are a leader. You're someone who is so brave that you will leave the pack. So, you know, that's why you want no contact to begin with because you're the brave one. You're the smart one. You're the one who has wisdom and you're the one who had the courage to say, no, thank you. And you have the courage to walk away from unhealthy, toxic relationships, whether it's marriage or some other intimate relationship, or it's family, or it's business, or it's friends. Hey, there's a lot of toxic relationships out there, but I give you so much credit for having the guts to stand up for yourself, to break the silence, to speak out, to keep telling your story, and to not let what the narcissists and what the flying monkeys say change you. Because you're a beautiful soul, continue to soar, you are loved. And if you wanna check out my website, you can go to danaercurie.com. Feel free to share with me if you wanna to add to my list why do you think the flying monkeys do the dirty work? I'm interested. I'd love to know. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Have an awesome weekend.